This project was for Digital Native Academy, a company based over in Birmingham, and it was with, in collaboration with Walsall Museum to create some different ways of people to interact with some ancient exhibits called the Bayard's Cults, which were carved wooden heads. So our brief was to create a variety of different uh, models, if you like, based on those heads to preserve the data um, for future use um, and also to provide people with something more interesting to look at as when they went through Walsall Museum. A lot of the work that we've done as a company is looking at how digital technology, how new ways, new innovative practices can enhance uh, the experience for, for our clients. It's all about improving the way that uh, things work. It's about, all about improving processes. In this case with Walsall Museum, it was about enhancing the visitor experience. We knew that we, we had certain capability in-house, but we're always looking to um, extend what it is that we do. And so we're always looking around for partners, especially partners who are leading on certain aspects of research and development in the technology area, in the digital arena. We started a conversation with uh, Carolyn Parkinson, who is a technology transfer specialist at WMG. That conversation uh, took us down a road in terms of technology transfer, introducing new technologies into our company which I think has certainly been of benefit to us as a, as a small company here in the Midlands and hopefully for the benefit of the project and for, for the museum here in terms of enhancing the visitor experience. We've managed to use the Ipsy's 3D printing and additive layer manufacturing technologies to create representations of the heads from a variety of different materials. The idea is that for people perhaps with visual impairments um, or for children to interact with more closely through tactile use of the artefact, we can produce different textures of materials um, and softnesses of materials for them to be able to touch and differentiate between the hair on the head um, and the facial features. The technology is called a Conex 260 and it's a 3D printer that prints out resin directly onto a build pattern and then as it prints the resin a UV light, ultraviolet light, solidifies that resin to form a layer, a solid layer, then it prints the next layer and the next layer and the next layer building a, a 3D component up on the build platform. It allows small businesses who have got a product design or product idea to be able to get a prototype of that product, a functional working prototype, very quickly at relatively low cost without having to go to tooling, which is very expensive. So within a few days, they can actually have a prototype to take to market, take for visualisation, take for discussion or further technical development. So there are two um, types of technology we've used to produce the heads for Digital Native Academy. The first one is the multi-material printing, which we've seen demonstrated today, which allows us to do different materials in the same 3D structure as we're building it. Then we've also got the other head, which is connected to the internet through a basic electronic prototyping board called an Arduino. The idea of that is to add extra, extra functionality to the parts that we're producing, allowing it to, to react to social media interaction on the internet um, or to cloud-based software databases to give it different instructions depending on the, the inputs and outputs that it's getting. I think what the work we've done so far with DNA and with WMG has shown, it's introduced us to all these different new technologies and ways in which members of the public can interact with objects, things that we in the museum weren't aware of and hadn't sort of had the opportunity to find out about previously. But in reality, um, 3D printing and additive layer manufacturing can be used across a whole range of sectors. Um, they're widely used in medical industry, aerospace and automotive. Um, so pretty much any SME uh, project which involves a new design or a low volume manufacturing project is something that we can help with here at the Ipsy building. It, it's all about the art of the possible, converting the art of the possible into, into reality. Uh, we've learned a lot. Our, our, our staff, uh, myself, have started to understand a lot more about how the new technologies, uh, which are coming out of, out of universities like, uh, like Warwick, like WMG, can be deployed within a, a small company and how we can really start to make some progress in, in business terms uh, through the work with our clients.